Hey guys, John here. You might already know that you cannot automate these FM knobs here in Citrus, but there is hope there's a little different method to go about this, and this, is, this video is going to show you how to do that. So for demonstration purposes, I just have one note plane here of Citrus, and it's a sine wave. So let's say we want operator 2 to modulate operator 1, and we know how to do this with this, with this knob right here. And it's down one octave in case you're curious, but anyway, we want to automate this knob and move it left and right in the automation. So the way to do that is we need to go to operator two, select the volume and go to mod X and then get this knob here, this node and bring this all the way down. So now the volume of operator two is going to be attached to this X and Y here. Now something we wanna keep in mind, let's say for example, let's go back to operator two and let's bring this back up to default. So let's say we need to find our maximum value. So whatever our maximum value is, let's say we're, we wanna do the full max, right? And we wanna automate from the top here all the way 100% to the right. So what we have to do is we have to first set this knob all the way to that maximum value. Now, once we go into mod X, we bring this all the way down here, this node. And then once we go to main, this X is going to be that control now. So if I play this note, so that movement is going to be theoretically the exact same as if I were to do this. So let's walk through that again. So operator two is modulating op operator one. Now we have to find our max value. So let's say in this example, you don't want the full value. You just want to go like maybe from zero to 50% all the way to the right here. You just want to go. That's all you want to do because sometimes FM, you don't want to use the max amount. So if this is the case here, we need to set our max value first. And then now once we go to volume mod X, now we bring this all the way down. So now in mod X, what it's saying is zero is going to be at the top and then its max value is going to be where we set this at here. So now once we move this, so keep in mind, this X at the very top cannot go past whatever this is set first here. So this is the first spot you really want to affect first or really change. Now, if we have this moving here, so remember the sound. Now, if we change this value here all the way to the top, now this X all the way at the top is going to follow this all the way at the top. So that's basically how that's done. You can ch you can tie a lot of these operators to mod X by itself. So you can do three as well. You can go three volume mod X and do the same thing here. And then maybe you have three's max value maybe right here. And then two is going to be all the way up. So these two are going to be the same and they're also all going to be tied to mod X. So what's going to be happening now is that mod two or operator two is going to be modulating number one and number three is also going to be modulating number one as well. And we can tell this is working if we change the frequency of operator three. Or even change the waveform. But basically that's how that works in a nutshell and you also have x and y so you can attach different ones to different modulators here and then with this here we can right click this and create automation clip and this is going to go into the playlist here so if we zoom in and look at this we can see and make some changes here so this way we're achieving the exact same effect not directly with these knobs here but tying these to the volume of mod X and automating the X or the Y if you, if you choose to do so. So that's basically how that works. I hope this helped you out and we'll see you in the next video.